So lately I have been going out and running into some people. Imagine that. <laughs> and um, have subtly been bringing up uh, conversations about Andrew Yang. And I'm really just trying to figure out, you know, where people stand as far as politically being involved, voting, and believing that their vote even counts. Uh, let me just start off by saying that <clears throat> I used to be under the impression that the entire voting system was rigged, and that it's been rigged for the longest time since Hoover, <laughs> and that every president since Hoover has been like this 32-degree uh, Masonic... Uh, Illuminati member, and let me tell you what, I, ha I have gone down the rabbit hole of conspiracy theories, secret societies, government cover-ups, and it has isolated me and alienated me from tons of people in the past, and let me just tell you right now, I do not believe the voting is rigged, I actually believe that it is, um totally legit, that it's totally democracy, a total democratic, democratic, uh, it's a vote, it's a vote, and yes, there is an electoral college, and not really too sure how I feel about the, uh, the way the different states have different levels of influence on the election, but I will tell you this, that I've been having conversations with people about voting and the elections, and, uh, wow, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now that, like, I was there, so I'm not going to, like, judge anyone too harshly for, for believing that now, because it has been the same freaking people rerunning and their kids running and the same faces talking about the same things and not doing a damn thing. So that is why uh, I believe that it was rigged, because all these amazing, the last couple elections, you know, first it was Ron Paul, libertarian, who just was completely awesome and then this last one um this last one i mean bernie bernie sanders brought some amazing ideas amazing he did a lot of groundwork uh for raising awareness but i'm glad he didn't win yes i voted for trump yes i'm happy he won no i'm not a trump supporter or a trump enthusiast I actually, and like I really, really think he should get out of office this time, um, and I'm much hoping for that, um, but just the other night, you know, here's my first example, I went out to karaoke at a friend's restaurant, and um, I was sitting on the patio talking to these two girls that I, uh, they were married, uh, it was me, my buddy, and, and these two married girls that were on vacation, and you know, she started going off about, oh my god, it's rigged, you know, spouting off, like, so and so, like, all these, con I don't mean, like, uh, these conspiracy beliefs and everything, like, the voting is rigged, it's a show, the whole thing is a stage, they're all puppets, I'm like, yeah, 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 I've heard it all before, I used to be saying the same shit, you know, and, and there's an empowering aspect to, to saying those things, and, in my opinion now, a lack of responsibility. And I wish I could have just like fast forwarded this whole video to this point right here, is that lack of responsibility or accountability that citizens and voters, you're either taking the cop out and saying that you don't think that our vote counts and that the, the system is rigged, if you believe that, if I honestly believe that if our voting system was rigged, the one thing that we have left really to make some dramatic change and change the course of path of, of where we're going, then I would believe that we were completely fucked. And if it's been rigged this whole time, that we're completely fucked. And, it, and if it has been rigged, then why haven't they um, just completely shit hit the fan already? Because it hasn't. And... Um, 
I think it's a lack of responsibility on their part. Because if you believe that the entire system of voting is rigged, then why aren't you going full anarchist? Why aren't you taking things to another level? If the system's totally rigged, and it's going in this direction, why aren't you organizing yourself? Why aren't you doing other things? That's because you don't fucking care. You don't care. You're just going to go about your life not taking responsibility and um, being comfortable as much as possible, you know, and just just blaming it on some idea that is possibly rigged, you know, not even like, not even knowing who the candidates are this election. And I get that you're so used to them just being the same people and being lied to and uh, empty promises and stuff. So I was like, oh, so do you even know who's running for president this year? No, of course not. Do you have you ever heard of Andrew Yang? No. Well, of course not. I'm like, well, do you have any like and like no, you know, no, um, even thought of like, how can I make the world a better place? really, you know, but they'll fuck, they'll complain about the environment, they'll complain about, um, certain taxes or prices or all these different things, so now I'm at, uh, I went out to another bar, I think it was the next day, and, uh, I'm talking to a friend of mine who was in special ops for, I think, around about 10 years, and, he was trying to tell me that he's seen things, that he's, you know, that it is totally rigged, right, because you've seen and heard, been in the room of conversations that, that, of people that know what they're talking about and have told you that it's completely rigged, right, and all of the polls, all of the polls in all the different states, the privately done polls, the, the government done polls, yeah, they're all fucking wrong, you know, but they're somehow keeping up with one another, and, um, wow, wow, okay, um, and, and yes, I used to believe that it was all just a show, and it was this fucking cheap entertainment on the television, however, I choose to believe, because, you know, I mean, it would be much harder for me to go full anarchist and actually get anything done, I'm choosing to believe through just rational observation that the voting does count and voting in a specific candidate who is proposing such radical change and new ideas can make a big difference and that is me doing my part that is me being responsible for like my my part of this so to go back to the girls that I met at karaoke, you know, and I told them, and I was like, I, I, vo I voted for Trump. And they're like, oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, just, I can't even look at you right now. Like, I thought you were cute. You know, you know, I thought we were going to have a civil conversation, but he is a dictator. How could you? And I'm just like, what would you have rather me have done? And I guess, you know, you said the voting doesn't count. So, I mean, as if I'm some misogynist asshole prick because I voted for Trump. But you don't understand, yo. Oh, my. I couldn't. I couldn't let Hillary. I just could not let that happen. Uh, obviously, me and tons of other people just wanted something new. Something that wasn't the continuing... Uh, politician saying the same old shit, being a populist, just trying to get votes. Um, and so, like, I just could not let Hillary, I just could not vote for Hillary. And if Bernie Sanders won, yes, he was ahead of his time, but he is now actually dated. His vision was not the grand picture. It was a huge piece of the puzzle but if he would have been elected, he would have made changes that were irreversible and harder to work with as a blank slate because Trump did so many things in areas that really don't, uh, it's, he, we basically needed a floater, someone to hold office and just not get too much shit done. 
That is my opinion, and that is why I believe it was saving grace that he actually got in the office and brought this feeling inside of so many Americans, made people pissed, it made people care, it made people want to do something. So, uh, so here I am, I'm going to post this on YouTube and uh, share it on my Facebook wall. I uh, just wanted to to, sh to shed a little light on, uh, like, maybe, maybe you're the person that thinks that the voting system is rigged. Uh, let me let me know why you think that. You know, where where are your um, tools of observation to, to figure that out? Other than just, like, choosing not to trust anything that has to do with the government or the system. And um, in that case, what do you, what do you going to do about it or are we just going to live out the rest of our days and let the planet and our system society fall apart okay i don't know tell me um yeah and if you don't think that it's rigged um what do you think you or me or everyone else can and should be doing in order to um, have a voice other than just voting. Yeah. Have a great day, everybody. Really. Have a great day. And, like, yeah, I just, I really wanted to share. It, it really took me back when these two girls, like, threw up when they heard that I voted for Trump. As if that has anything, like, wow. Like, it's really reassuring when I meet educated people that are voters. Um, but it's also really disheartening when people have such an opinion and they're not doing anything about it except, you know, ridiculing me for voting for, for Trump, even though in the grand scheme of things, it's going to get Andrew Yang elected and... Yeah. Andrew Yang. Oh my god, I tell you, I watch videos of him every single day and I'm keeping up with his campaign. And what's what's fucked up is I actually don't have money. I don't have money to get new shoes. I don't have money to donate to his campaign. I'd like to donate like 30 bucks to his campaign. Um and that's and that's ridiculous, but but hey, if he wins, he's uh, new new policy of uh, one hundred democracy dollars. So you give every American a hundred dollars to put towards their candidate and their campaign, and that amount of money. And you can only use the hundred dollars for donating to a campaign or candidate, and that money collectively completely drowns out special interests and lobbyists and the amount of money that that campaigns are receiving from them so instead of receiving money from a private interest group and promising certain things to them they'll say no no i don't want your five hundred thousand dollars because i'm getting three million from american voters and i'm doing the right thing and you got you guys that is it i just want to feel like I'm doing something other than talking to people in person and eventually voting. So, oh, and, you know, you know, um, once I, um, I tell you what, I'm, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to donate $30 to Andrew Yang's campaign before I buy a new pair of shoes. And I'm telling you, I've, this is not something I've ever done in my life. Can you see this? I mean, they're holding together, all right? But that right in here, that's my foot. Yep. And on the other shoe, this is embarrassing, okay? Look, look at this. That's my foot, that's my foot. Okay, you guys. Andrew Yang is the shit.